Smaller theaters like the West End Cinema in Washington showed the film on Christmas Day, one day after Sony released the interview online. We bought the tickets like two days, uh, two days before I guess it was released online, so we didn't really, we couldn't like return them or anything. Our mom bought us tickets to go see it as a family together. So we had bought the tickets before it was released online. Good thing too, because general manager Josh Levin says he's been turning people away. Hundreds. The phone's been ringing off the hook. We sold out all four shows in less than an hour. Now, it's not entirely uncommon for Americans to spend holidays at the movies. A movie on Christmas Day is kind of fun, so I mean, I might have picked a different movie, but I'm not mad about going out to the theater. And the larger theaters aren't showing the film yet, which for some is part of the appeal. So those that have made the decision to say, despite the threats, we are going to show the movie, we're not going to be intimidated by a dictator. Um, I decided that it's important to show my support for them, uh, both by being physically here and by paying a ticket for them. And it seems the threats of cyber warfare and physical violence weren't enough to keep people at home. Christmas Day is always busy for us, but so far today, if the first set of shows is any indication, this is completely unprecedented. Levin says the next six showings are completely sold out. That's 450 seats prepaid. But Americans eager to see the film shouldn't worry. The interview is available online through a number of streaming video services for rent or purchase for about the cost of a large bucket of popcorn and a soda. In Washington, Arash Arabasadi for VOA News.